Sisters, it's Mrs. Riffle, and I'm here with my daughter Maggie. Hi. And this is our old English Bantam, Chikorita. And behind the camera today is Ben. Hi guys. Are you ready for more chicken biology in the virtual classroom? Today we're going to talk about the parts of a chicken and also why we raise chickens. But first, let's check in on the development of our eggs for days 15 to 18. On day 15, our temperature was 100 degrees and the humidity is 50%, so we added some water. Most of the development is complete. It just needs to grow bigger and stronger over the next few days as they prepare to hatch. It's day 16 and our temperature is 99 and the humidity is just a little high at 68%. Today, the scales, claws, and beak are becoming firm and strong. On day 17, our temperature and humidity are good at 99 degrees and 59%. Today, the beak turns towards the air cell. Now it's day 18 and our temperature is right at 99 degrees with a humidity level of only 44%. We need to add water to get that up to around 65 or 70% for the last three days before the hatch. The embryos are growing really fast and assuming the hatching position with their head under the right wing and their beak toward the air cell. Also, the remaining yolk sac begins entering the body cavity. Today, let's learn about the basic parts of a hen. First, there's the head, then the back and shoulder and wing. Next, there's the tail, and under the tail is the vent. The vent is the hole where the eggs come out. It's also how it uses the bathroom. The fluff are the feathers on its bottom, and then the feet and legs, the breast, and the neck. Now let's look at the head and legs in more detail. On the head, you have the comb, which comes in a variety of styles depending on the breed. This chicken has a single comb. Then there's the eye, the ear, the earlobe, the hackle, which are the feathers on the back of the neck, the wattle, and the beak. On the legs, there's the hock, shank, toes, and claws. A rooster has many of the same parts as a hen. However, their comb and wattles are larger, their feathers are fancier and more colorful, they have large sickle feathers on their tails and large spurs on the backs of their legs. So why do we raise chickens? There are hundreds of different breeds of chickens in the world, and the breeds are raised for various reasons. For example, Cornish cross chickens are primarily raised for their meat. They are bred to grow quickly and efficiently with large lean muscles. And this barred rock hen is an example of a layer, chickens that are good and productive egg layers. So why do we raise chickens? The number one reason is for meat. The National Chicken Council reports that in the United States, we eat more chicken than anywhere else in the world. Americans eat 9 billion chickens per year, which averages out to over 98 pounds per person per year, making it the number one protein consumed in the United States. If you like fried chicken, then you live in the right place because Franklin County is the fried chicken capital of the world. That's right, at our annual Canoe Fest in 2010, volunteers fried up 1,645 pounds of chicken, filling a canoe and setting a new world record for the largest serving of fried chicken. This is why we have colorful chickens all through our town. A byproduct is something produced in the process of making something else. One byproduct of chicken production is feathers. According to the University of Kentucky, two to three billion pounds of feathers are produced per year. Research shows that a protein called keratin in the feathers can be used in the production of a wide variety of products. The fiber in feathers is similar to cellulose, which is the starch that forms wood and paper. But the fiber in feathers can absorb more moisture, and their structure also makes them naturally stable and durable. Companies are now working to increase production of absorbent feather-based products, including diapers, filters, insulation, upholstery padding, paper, and even clothing. Feathers are also used for biodegradable plant pots, fertilizers, decorations, pillow stuffing, fishing lures, and more. Many researchers are exploring new uses for feathers, such as replacing plastics and biodiesel fuel. This is recycling at its finest. Chickens are also raised for eggs. The National Egg Board reports that Americans now eat 290 eggs per person per year. According to the USDA, the consumption of eggs peaked in 1945 when each American ate 404 eggs per year. Then it took a downward slide for 46 years until 1991 when it was the lowest at 229 eggs per person. It has been steadily increasing ever since. 
Chickens are also raised for pets or to show. Raising backyard chickens has become a very popular hobby in recent years. Some people raise them for fresh eggs and meat, and some have them around for pets or to exhibit in shows. In Franklin County, we have about 45 youth who participate in the 4-H Poultry Project. Well, that's all for today's lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Franklin County Indiana 4-H, and you can find more information about Purdue Extension and 4-H on our website at extension.purdue.edu Franklin.